You have heard a lot this morning about the important role the private sector must play in the region's recovery. Now, this next session, we will dive into this topic more profoundly with presentations from IDB Invest CEO, James Scriven, and IDB Lab CEO, Irene Arias, on lax recovery and the private sector. James, take it away. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for being part of this IDB Group Partners Forum. As you may know, we represent the work of IDB Group does through the private sector of Latin America and the Caribbean. IDB Invest aims to be the partner of choice of the private sector in our region. We work to provide our clients with customized financial solutions and expert advice tailored to the specific industry and market. We finance projects to advance clean energy mod modernization, agriculture, strength and transport systems, and access to financial services. IDB Lab is the innovation laboratory of the group. It exists out of the conviction that our region needs to find new ways to accelerate inclusion and fight climate change. It drives innovation support in early stage entrepreneurship and testing new solutions for development challenges that create opportunities for the poor and vulnerable populations in Latin America and the Caribbean. In March 2020, the world changed. Since then, our region is experiencing one of the worst crises in the last 200 years. The pandemic has been the ultimate test of the IDB Group's ability to support the private sector. From IDB Lab and IDB Invest, we are ready to respond to helping the private sector to reinforce their businesses and support the growth. We are also convinced that new windows have opened to build back better our region, and there's a huge investment opportunity to do so. Latin America and the Caribbean needs a private sector-led recovery and a green and inclusive recovery. There's no long-term process, progress, unless both challenges are addressed together. So the crisis also has highlighted the crucial counter-cyclical role that we can play in helping the public and the private sectors. And this gives us the role of avoiding delay in investments and helping economic recovery in the event of financial and economic shocks, like the one created by the pandemic. To support this process, the IDB Group has launched, as you heard this morning, Vision 2025, a plan to reinvest in the region to generate more, better jobs in the formal sector. And it includes five immediate priorities to maximize effectiveness. Regional integration by supporting reconfiguration of global value chains and integration initiatives. And the region already exports uh, that generate around 24% of GDP, specifically agriculture exports were vital in the crisis of 2020. And LAC is responsible for 14% of global agricultural production and will account for 25% of agricultural and fishery product exports in 2028. And also in Latin America and the Caribbean, 95% of the startup ecosystem value is created by half of the companies, those with regional or global strategies. So to unleash the potential of the other half, particularly in the digital economy, it is crucial to drive regional collaboration. Now, the digital economy, by facilitating access and creating the capacity to embrace digital technologies and foster innovation, we can unlock tremendous value. We've calculated that the tech ecosystem in Latin America and the Caribbean, which is already booming, with 2.6 times growth in startups worth over 25 million in the past three years, is expected to keep growing exponentially. And that's why supporting innovation, digitization, and tech adoption is so important to unlock powerful engines of inclusive growth. And these could generate an additional three trillion US dollars of annual economic value by 2030. Three, small and medium-sized enterprises, what we regularly call SMEs. By generating the conditions to maximize the private sector contribution to the region's upturn, supporting the SMEs is essential since they constitute 90% of the companies in the region and generate 61% of the employments. 
climate crisis, the eternal pandemia, by helping countries foster resilience, mitigation, and adaptation. Only the rise of sustainable debt issuances driven by the transition to a lower carbon economy is expected to surpass 700 billion by 2021. Fifth, gender equality and diversity. By empowering women and vulnerable populations who bear the burden of the crisis, both on the health and the economic side, women own more than 30% of the SMEs in Latin America and the Caribbean, and the financing gap for the female segment of SME reach $92 billion. And overcoming existing challenges will also require a lot more of external financing, also through innovative resource mobilization and through value add of different, different parts of the IDB group. And in, the, in this sense, IDB Invest and IDB Lab have the capacity to innovate together, to manage large and complex investments, and bringing in other partners enables us to finance some of the most transformative private sector-led projects in the region. We offer LAC companies a continuum to partner and develop private ventures from early stages to scale. Let's look at some examples. Cubo Financiero. This is Mexico's first regulated fintech with a new model for financing MSMEs and social investments. IDB Lab provided $300,000 in non-reimbursable resources to test and improve the business model and a $2 million senior working capital loan. And later, once the model matured, IDB Invest made a $10 million quasi-equity investment using an innovative and flexible mezzanine financial structure and helping them to increase its loan portfolio, focusing on women-led SMEs. So this deal also includes an action plan to strengthen Cuba's corporate governance. A second example, Cargo X. Cargo X is South, America, South America's largest tracking marketplace an online freight broker. It's based in Brazil, and the platform enables truck owners to make use of excess capacity and avoid empty return trips. So it has transformed the logistics sector in Brazil, and it's an indirect investee company of IDB Lab. Uh, it was one of the first startups of one of our portfolios in through a venture capital fund called NXTP Labs. And, um, uh, IDB Lab had invested $5 million in that fund in 2013. A few years later, 2020, IDB Invest invested $15 million directly in the company. So this extension, IDB Lab to IDB Invest, provides this continuum and it's expected to help positively impact thousands of truck drivers and SMEs across Brazil and potentially the entire region. And as an online platform, it's also become a key tool for resilience for the transport sector and supply chains in Brazil during the pandemic. A third example, Mercado Libre. IDB Invest closed a 50 million subscription for senior notes issued in Brazilian reais. And this is the leading commerce payment and electronic credit uh, company in Latin America and the Caribbean, uh, to which IDB Lab had also been supporting in innovative uh, climate uh, products um, through Mercado Credito. So this financing together allowed them to consolidate its trajectory, mobilize financial resources from new sources, and now as partners, we carried out a study to understand how the lack of financing can affect the level of participation of MSMEs in e-commerce, demonstrated and, and being a real role model of how facilitating access to finance through this new type of platforms can be so effective. Through financing knowledge and connections, we're opening new markets, such as the silver economy. The aging population in our region is particularly growing. Currently, one, one in eight people in the region is over 60 years old. But in 30 years, that proportion will be doubled. Today, we are the fifth region in the world with most senior citizens. But by 2020, we'll be the third. Two weeks ago, we announced the selection of the proposal of the Silver Economy Challenge. Innovative proposals regarding healthcare, financial services, housing, among other topics to support the population can become, that become an engine of social inclusion and job creation. Another example is thematic bonds. Sustainable investments is growing 
faster and innovative financial product as thematic bonds and are increasing around the world. In 2020, only social bonds jumped sevenfold compared to 2019, while sustainable bonds grew 81%. However, Latin America and the Caribbean represents a small portion of that global market with only 2%. This is an opportunity to boost this market. The IDB Group has supported 40% of all thematic issuances in public and private players in Latin America and the Caribbean. And IDB Invest alone has helped structure 30% issues by private sector companies across nine countries. Blended finance. Blended finance is a financial tool to accelerate adoption and mitigation of climate change, as well as diversity and inclusion. The relevance of blended finance resources is key to the private sector to accelerate the achievement of the sustainable development growth through innovative business models. Thanks to a partner like C2F, concessional funds allow our clients to accelerate the transformation of industries while defining new practices that are replicable and scalable. Some of the examples of, the, of our blended finance funds that highlighted the potential of working on climate change and inclusion and promoting SDGs. An example of that is El Hijo Verde in Mexico and CAI in Colombia, projects with G. EF resources that restored degrading lands from supporting commercial viable businesses. Edigio Verde is also an example of how the collaboration between IDB Invest and IDB Lab allows us to offer a more robust proposal to our clients. In G in Chile, a pioneer product where we use CIF resources offering an innovative financial instrument to accelerate large scale decarbonization in a country. Four solar projects in Uruguay, with together with C2F, incorporate the gender component for EPC, engineering, procurement, and construction com uh, contractor to engage in equal employment for women, including training and relevant interim experiences. This, these projects became the, the benchmark for Uruguay's government to the most, re uh, most recent renewable energy public tender. Back El Salvador is an example of how we use performance-based incentives for the Women Entrepreneur Finance Initiative, what we call WeFi, that encourage financial institutions across the region. These funds are used to grow back's El Salvador MSME program that will focus on providing financing to women-led MSMEs. Thanks, James, for sharing all these examples. Ejido Verde everything that we're doing with uh, the green, the different green funds and also um, WeFi uh, uh, for uh, uh, women-led businesses. And we're also creating digital infrastructures for solutions to scale up and to accelerate the adoption on, of new technologies, making it much easier for everybody to run applications on these new digital highways. The first example is blockchain. This is the Global Alliance led by IDB Lab with now more than 50 partners from around the world that is making much, much easier the adoption of blockchain for multiple solutions across many, many sectors. This is an open source interoperable network. It's internationally recognized as a landmark and a reference in blockchain across the world. And it can allow the deployment of inclusion driven applications. Now, the second example of this type of platform is Fairlack. Um, it's a partnership between public and private sectors, civil society, academic institutions, and it's designed to influence public policy and also to ensure that the entrepreneurs that are emerging, that are using artificial intelligence and other technologies, do it in an ethical way and have it, the right tools to do it. And that we as investors, as well as any other third party investor, can also use relevant tools to understand if these companies are truly making an ethical use of these new technologies. And this really is so important to ensure that these solutions um, can use algorithms that won't deepen inclusion gaps, but on the contrary, that will bring inclusive solutions in telemedicine, in diagnostics, and so many other fields. Now, finally, I want to 
uh, offer an invitation uh, to upcoming events where you can experience firsthand much of what James and I talked to you about today and the value proposition. Uh, IDB Lab Forum, uh, this is IDB Group's uh, new flagship event on innovation for inclusion. This is a meeting of global scope. It focuses on innovative entrepreneurship and it highlights the role of this different digital solutions that we touched on today, new business models that can improve lives in Latin America and the Caribbean. So this uh, BitLab Forum, it's a platform to realize business opportunities, to exchange knowledge, and also to generate connections that can really help us all scale faster and access new markets. It's a virtual first event. It will be on October 26th to 28 of 2021, so just in a couple of weeks. Um, and there will be some special sessions in person in Miami for a limited audience on the 26th. Now, the second invitation is to We Exchange. Uh, this is the largest platform in Latin America and the Caribbean to connect women entrepreneurs in STEM with mentors and investors. It's annual event will take place this year on December 1st to 2nd, and it's completely virtual. And you can register for both events. You can go to our, our social media pages at the IDB group and, and find more information. Thanks, Eden, and I'm sure gonna be in Miami for those events. To sum up, we are ready to take risks, supporting innovative, innovative initiatives, and to give our clients a continuous assist, assistance from early, sustainable, to grow stages. Our commitment, our talent, and our effort are focus on you, our clients. We work together with many of you to give them the solutions they need for sustainable growth in Latin America and the Caribbean. So we look forward to continuing the conversation with all of you. Uh, we're building the region back better, and this requires a coordinated and courageous public-private sector response. So we're counting on you, uh, our partners, uh, to be part of the solution. Thank you so much. James, Irene, thank you both so much for showcasing the role of the private sector in the region's recovery. I would like to remind you that the sessions are being transmitted in two languages, so please select in the tab above the language you want to, li to listen. We continue on to the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.